Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are starting off a brand new project. If you enjoyed today's episode, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. It's free and it is the best way of showing support to what I do. What we are building today is the first houses of a small village called Dalbeck. Dalbeck is a small village deep into a valley in the north. A small brook and good timber set the foundation for a lumber mill sending planks down the stream. Around this mill, a society was formed, and new houses were built along with another mill, one for grains. The capital of the Norse territory gets a lot of its timber from Dalbeck, and Clipstead noble people are common visitors here. Dalbeck is a small village protected by the mountains to the east and a river along the west side. The people living here are mainly farmers, but also doing other professions like blacksmiths and uh, driving the mills. And for these people, life is all about surviving and making good timber. As you can see from the clips, this is clearly a Viking inspired or Nordic inspired build. Uh, it's something I like to do. I've always been fascinated by this style. Uh, and it's a style that allows for a lot of creativity. I'm trying to find a balance between realism and fantasy. Because after all, uh, Amirea is a fantasy world. So I'm trying to, to walk this fine line between too much realism and too much fantasy. So let's finish off the buildings for today and we'll take this place for a first person point of view tour so we can see everything in its glory. Let's start off with a little overview here, a flyby uh, tour I guess. And in the middle here we can see the three houses that I've added alongside some farms and working areas in the back here. And I think the style we have set is, is not unique, I say, well it's unique to me but it's very heavily fantasy Viking-ish. Uh, it's pretty wealthy and that is why we have, or it's based on the lore that uh, the timber is sent down to Clipstead. So there's a lot of re resources coming straight from the capital right up here. Uh, hence the, the wealth of these houses here. Uh, they might be too, too wealthy for the realism here, but, but I just wanted to have a fun style to play with. So. Uh, it's a little unrealistic, but still, I really do like it. Uh, I love the landscape here as well. This is on my map Elerea, which is where we built the previous project as well. And it just has that like proper Norwegian fjord and valley uh, vibe that I love so much because I, I do live in them sometimes. Yeah, occasionally I do actually do live in these valleys when we travel. Uh, anyway. Um, what we have built today is a blacksmith over here, a herbalist, and a wheat farmer over here. So that is what we have, and we added a little bridge. This is pretty cool. And then this watchtower here, just to like protect it a little bit here. It's mainly just a small hamlet, so it doesn't have to be super protected. After I've shown you the interiors of these buildings, I also want to present to you the plan for the rest of this, so stay tuned for that if you don't want to miss it. So let's start with the blacksmith, shall we? Really dig in the outside here. You come in, just realize that the first room you come into isn't finished. That's a good start. I need to get on with that. Have I? Well, I... I... Yeah, I remember that. I forget this one. Anyway, in here we have a kitchen. It's looking pretty nice. Probably way too nice for this style, but... I like it. And then there's a door going back into the blacksmith area, but we will get to that. Let's actually go up the staircase here. In this door we have the master bedroom, which is pretty big. We have some beds over here and then some storage. Uh, this little extension bit here, so yeah. Nothing too fancy. I'm using the Articraft overlay, I think. I think it is for um, the Rohan uh, art. So like these ones, because I, I just feel like they fit with the Viking team. And then we have uh, some seating areas over here. Up this ladder, we go up here. We have areas for the kids to sleep. There's four beds up here and some areas to play in and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So that is the interior for this one. We can run around and I want to show you the outside. This is... Looking pretty fancy. We have a nice forge here for uh, blacksmithing. Digging that one. 
uh, and then just like a big workshop area like an anvil some water over here we have a grindstone and some benches to do some work um, and a nice roof over the entire thing and actually a small table to sit back here as well and yeah just a lot of stuff so that's pretty nice uh, we can go around here and there's a little storage building which connects these two houses here uh, and we just have a lot of firewood to to keep the forge going and also some uh, raw iron some ingots uh, some storage and yeah like tools and stuff and things you know um, but we can actually from here we can go around and check out the other thing also want to point out that the roads are uh, pretty detailed as you can see it's like in the middle it's more worn down and also here like the water is straining into this little thing I don't know I just think that's cool small bits here and there that I like to add and here you can see like wheel where the wheels go from the carts and stuff all right the next building we have is the herbalist so in the back here we actually have uh, a lot of smaller farms for different kind of herbs and plants and flowers and spices all the jazz um, and it's all kind of just being yeah grown in the back here and then we have this yeah straightforward house also some of these racks to dry it and, and stuff so we go in here we have the shop so this is where you'd buy herbalist stuff he'd probably have a little stand outside as well I'm, I want to do a little town square or center uh, but yeah, you can buy some herbs in here Looking pretty cool and then there's a door leading into the storage area So here we have like just some dried up leaves from stuff in here and Yeah, just like plants and herbs being stored all over the place There's a door leading into the main uh, room here, but I also want to go outside just to show you uh, the entrance here so this is where you kind of enter the, um, the store through this door and then this other door leads into the house itself and uh, um, yeah I love this little overhang we have here with the way the planks or the um, lumber stick out like that and small extensions here and there and the stormers and just ways to to make it feel interesting trying to not try not to make it uh, too bland uh, I guess but let's go in here and check out this interior we have a nice big kitchen Definitely wouldn't complain over here. Then we have the dining area to sit uh, All right ties in this one and then just some benches here to get some work done. Maybe paperwork uh, I don't know just playing games stuff like a small alcove kind of here Looks pretty cute and then this door is the one leading into the storage And go up the staircase we have another fireplace and we just have the family Living room kind of, well, it, not really, but uh, there's a couple of beds here for the kids. A lot of them, in fact. So there's four kids here as well. And then we have the master bedroom above the shop itself. So some big beds, uh, clothing, uh, some shelves and stuff. Pretty cute. And then there's a ladder going up here. And here we just have some storage. So it will be uh, just like, yeah, um, everything you need for staying alive, kind of, I guess. But then in here, it's kind of a cool thing. This is a small apartment for an apprentice for making the spices and herbs and stuff. Uh, so he's probably helping the herbalist and is just staying here for maybe for free since he's helping. I don't know. But he has his own little apartment up in the attic here. So... It's kind of cool filling up the space of the house here then we go down go down the staircase and we go out here follow the road again you can see these dents in the road just making it feel a little bit more realistic and yeah not super plain uh, digging the outside here just just packing it with details and stuff and a cute little tree here up in between then we have the last house for today, which is uh, a farmer. So uh, we're going to check out the farms later, but go in here. Uh, we have a pretty open uh, area. We have a kitchen and a dining area here. And then there's a door leading to the working area. So back here we have 
some uh, like wheat and grass and stuff being stored from the farming so just like a little yeah almost like a shed and next to it that's pretty nice um, and then over here we have a pantry just storing food and stuff for the family we go up the ladder here we come up to the upstairs where we have the family living room so just like areas to sit and, and all that stuff and we have uh, the master bedroom in here so like a nice big bed this is made out of like hay or thatch and uh, areas to sit for the parents not too bad not too bad but then the ladder goes all the way up here uh, and, and this is where the kids would sleep. So apparently this guy here is uh, not as wealthy. Maybe the goods he sell isn't worth as much. So the, they just sleep on hay kind of. Uh, hay mats. So th that's what they're doing here. Uh, and basically it's just a simple way of making beds when you're dealing with diagonal buildings. So yeah. <laughs> Lazy me doing that. And then just storage up in the rest here. But now let's go outside and just quickly check out the farm as well. Uh, it's a small wheat farm uh, over here. And eventually this guy would probably be running multiple farms around here. As you can see, I've been already planning uh, some farms around this place. But uh, we'll get to that. Uh, here we have a small cart I built as well. Just uh, transporting stuff, maybe down to Eclipsed. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, so the plan I have is to just have plenty of, of farms around here uh, All over the city where wherever there's not houses. We'll just have small farms uh, And then this here is going to be a, a grain mill for um, For all the farms to grain that uh, or ground that into uh, Yeah, flour and flour and Grain? I don't know. <laughs> uh, you, you do that here, and, and then over here down the stream we'll have the lumber mill. So you grind the lumber and then send it down the stream. So it makes sense to have it down here so the, uh, the lumber doesn't have to travel under the bridges and stuff. And then eventually I want to build like some small, uh, f yeah, fences or walls, simple. Uh, primitive uh, wooden walls just to kind of separate it a little bit uh, but of course we have the mountains to the east and then we have the river here so just some simple protection on the uh, the bridges would help a lot as well but I, I want to do some simple walls just for the fun of it um, and we're gonna have a massive temple as well for uh, the village or massive and massive I guess but pretty big over here for the village it's gonna be like the main area and then in the front of it we're gonna have um, the town center might have like an area to do public speaking and stuff but my friends that is everything for the first episode of Dalbeck. please do give me feedback down below so i can improve this and let me know what you think of the project if you're inspired think it's going to be fun uh, or if you think there's something else i should do entirely different so please do let me know anyway guys thank you so much for watching really do hope that you enjoyed if so make sure to smack that like button and if you haven't done it already Make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigoman, and I'm out.